Right then, you slags. We've got an idea about doing a video. Me versus the comments. And I haven't seen any of these. Ronaldo and Will have picked all these and I'm just going to try and react to them and respond to them in my natural, you know, dead, like, chilled out kind of self. So let's get into the first comment then, shall we? Tom Skull says, sad that the only positive of our season is a rival losing. We are pathetic. But it was a positive, wasn't it? Because I know I fucking enjoyed it. Ha ha, shut up, you cheeseburger. You're still hurting over the 0-5, mate, you cheeseburger. Ah ha, ha ha, ha 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 ha, you piece of bacon. Sounds like I am a bacon double cheeseburger. Bully my mum says United got lucky in two finals and haven't shut up since. Which two finals? What, 99 and 08? Well, yeah. United have spent over a billion and a sixth. Also, is Housen going to do a video on how Fergie failed in the European Cup? Oh, mate, this guy's a fucking widge. Right, United have spent over a billion, but we've also had 1.7 billion drained out of the club, you fucking creature. Where does that put us? So are United like 700 million in the fucking green? Hey, until we've spent more than the Glazers have taken out, I don't want to hear anyone talk about what United have done in terms of transfers. Also, Fergie failed in the European Cup. <sighs> if you're trying to look for a way to really dig into Sir Alex Ferguson, then yeah, fine. Right? If that's what you want to say, fine. For starters, United didn't win the league until 1993. And that was the only way that he got into the, the European Cup or the Champions League, right? So the first seven years or whatever he was at United, forget about them. There was one time that we could get into the European Cup and that was following 1990 and we got into the European Cup Winners' Cup, right? It's not like now where you can come fourth and everyone gets a fucking go. No, you had to actually win the league to qualify. So for the first part of Sir Alex Ferguson's reign, we didn't have that option. Now, the dream team of Barcelona that we beat in 1991 in the greatest achievement that football's ever seen in winning the Cup Winners' Cup, we beat Johan Cruyff's dream team. Dream team, not pretty good team, fucking dream team, right? We beat the dream team. And then we got hampered by the foreigner rule. Ryan Giggs was a foreigner. Dennis Irwin was a foreigner. Roy Keane was a foreigner. All of these players were classed as foreigners and the likes of Kanchelskis and Cantona and Schmeichel, they couldn't play. Only three of them got to play. So United got absolutely fucking dunked on in the new camp. We got beat 4-0, we got twatted. The likes of Gary Walsh had to go in next, couldn't play Schmeichel. We had to play a 17-year-old Nicky Botts in central midfield instead of Roy Keane. So you wonder why United failed in Europe, but you don't want to talk about those sorts of times that happened early doors. It was a different time, it was a different era, it was a different competition in both format, name, and the way it went, okay? We came second to what's been known as the greatest club team of all time. We would have had four. That might have been a better representation. We've lost in the semi-finals on multiple occasions, but that's football, and that's cup competitions. You could say he failed it if he never, never managed to win it, but he did, so fuck you. Oh, this is on Twitter as well. We're not just doing comments here, we're doing tweets. Steve, please stop doing scout reports, stop jinxing it, we need to sign someone, maybe do a scout report on Phil Jones and Eric Bayer, we may sell them. Say I would do a scout report on them, but they have to play football for me to watch it, so we can do a scout report, and they don't play football, do they? Matt says, swear down, Stephen Alson is also Mr. Tumble. I don't have a spotted bag. Flex1 says, I'm a Man United fan. But, seriously, this channel is a bloody joke if they're laughing at Man City. How the hell can you laugh at City despite knowing we'll play the Europa League next season? Because, fuckface, all they wanted to do, and they pumped in billions, and they got the greatest manager the world's ever seen. And they give him every fucking player he wanted, and then every player he wanted in the same position again, because the first one that they bought him weren't fucking good enough. And they still couldn't win it. And their name still isn't on that fucking trophy. And I don't care about you, but I know I am comfortable laughing at Manchester City. Are we laughing from a position of power? No, we're not. But I'm still fucking laughing, aren't I? Right? And if you can't take delight in your rival's demise and failures, then you're not a fucking football fan and you're some sort of fucking mashed potato eating weirdo. ST Watts says, you swear too much. Fuck you. Leslie Stapleton says, what a melt. Why a melt's bad? Because I'll tell you this, right? A ham and cheese toasty, which is also known as a melt, depending on the restaurant that you go into or the establishment that you go into. A ham and cheese toasty, or if you're feeling fresh, a chicken and cheese toasty, or turkey and cheese, or tuna and cheese. You need the cheese. Cheese is a massive ingredient in a melt, right? Why are melts bad? They're pretty fucking spectacular, aren't they? Thank you for the compliment. What shaver do I recommend? For the other... I haven't touched my face hair in about a decade. I go to the barber, I sit down, he does the neck shit, which needs a bit of doing, doesn't it? He does this bit, trims this slot so it doesn't reach my belly button. 
And, um, and for that bit, well, they're not sponsoring this video, so you'll have to guess. Mr. Boxing360 says, good vid, quick question, what is a woman? I don't know if I can answer that anymore. Without getting in trouble. Moving on. You don't care about international football, but for some reason, assume we care enough to listen to you bump your fucking gums on about a video that's supposed to be about Frankie De Jong and United. Listen, fuckface. I didn't make you click on me, did I? You dick. Jason Chadburn says, plank. Ronaldo really should just stick to commenting on football. It's the only thing he knows. His uninformed and conspiracy-driven commentary and takes on world events is painful to listen to. You only see him an hour on the XG files every week. You don't have to fucking sit with him in here when he comes out with stuff. The guy literally two foots any conversation that you're having. For Wales. English schoolboys because he was going to school in England. Do you know what that reminds me of? He's Welsh. No, he said Wales. You know what it reminds me of? Partly of what I said, what I said earlier, which is, I don't know if you might find it quite weird. Is it weird that I've never been to an aquarium? <laughs> what? What? <laughs> if we need an interim manager, there were far better options than Ralph. Name three. His entire appointment was for the consultancy role. I agree on that, to be fair. Yeah, another failure of the board and victory for Player Power FC. In all honesty, I actually fucking agree with that. I think it was. He probably was down there for the consultancy. You've got to remember, we did have like a bit of a, a handover of CEO in the middle of that. So plans that were ready at the start of Ralph's reign might have changed by the end of Ralph's reign and, and things that went on in between. And I think they did probably just get bored of him just fucking telling the truth at all times. We'll see how, how bad a, a decision that was in due course, I'm sure. Disty, as a Ghanaian United fan, I, on behalf of all Ghanaians, recognise and accept your interest to join our fan base for November's World Cup. Our kit indeed is gorgeous. Done and fucking done. I am from Ghana now, and that's who I'm supporting at the World Cup. Any fucking problems, tell someone who fucking cares. I go by. Hey, thank you for watching the video. If you are new around these parts, then don't forget to subscribe. My channel is proudly supported by my community on Patreon. If you'd like to get a little bit of extra content, a Discord group, meetups, five-a-side games, weekly podcasts, behind the scenes, and even an occasional bit of transfer news as and when I get it, then for the price of a pint, you can show your appreciation for the content that we make and get some goodies for doing so as well. Check the link in the description or click the button right here. You'll also find all of my socials here too if you want to follow me on any of those platforms. Nice one.